Hello guys, this is me Aman Kumar and this video is powered by Way2Y Tech. This is the next video in the course Way2C Programming and here we will be discussing how to write the C program, how to run the C program and how to compile the C program. So this is our first C program. Uh, the program will be looking like this. My first C program hash include std.h int main printf how are you return 0. We will be writing this we will be using dave c++ for writing and running the programs so i will run the dave c++ first of all from file you have to new source file you have to create a new source file so now here we can write our program so i will write the program hash include stereo.h wide main How are you? So after writing the program you have to execute the program so first you need to compile the program so it will ask to save the program save it and there is no error now you have to run the program execute error. so you see one blink I again run the, uh, run the program similarly I will again run the program one window is coming and something is written on it and uh, it is going back the window is not freezing so we will see what, uh, what the reason the window is not freezing first of all this is our first program we will I will explain everything like what is what are these things and what uh, what is meaning of each and every line first line of our program is hash include stereo dot h we will see what, what this line means first of all we see what hash means hash is known as preprocessor this specifies that before processing the complete program execute or expand this line preprocessor specifies that before starting the program before executing the, executing the program you have to execute this line or expand this line so this line will be executed first or this line will be expanded first the next is include what include means it is the name of the directory it is the name of the folder where this folder is lying where we have installed the tc it is the name of the folder where this folder lies where we have installed the tc here is my tc folder uh, see the include folder is there and it is also containing a file name stereo rich the file we are using there stereo there is a file name stereo dot h so what this line means this specific uh, include it is the name of the directory or the folder where we have installed the tc inside the include directory header files or library files of c, c or c++ are present what is present inside the include folder header files or the library files which are given to us from c and c++ what are these header files these are simply the inbuilt library these are the library files of c and c++ in which they have given us several inbuilt functions to use we have got a lot many inbuilt functions from the c library all these library functions are present inside the header files header files have extension dot h that's why studio is a header file having the extension dot h and what this less than and greater than angular brackets specify these are known as search parameters it will search file present inside the angular brackets so what this whole line means hash means you have to execute this line first or you have to expand this line first and this line means in the include folder you have to search the file stro.h and expand this file so this is the first line of our program now we see what is stro.h it is a header file that contains all the functionalities related to input and output in your program you have to do input from you have to take input from the user or you have to give output to the user so you need the library file stereo.h if we need to take input to from the user and want to give output you need stereo.h stereo means standard input output various functions related to input and output are present inside stereo.h we will see which functions are present in this header file so the next line is next line of our program is void main or sometimes it is also written as int main so what is this void main or int main 
C language is a function oriented language. What is a C language? It is a function oriented language. We will be using functions inside the C language. In this language, we will write programs through functions. We will write functions. What are the functions? As the name suggests, the functions will perform some specific task. We will discuss the functions in the in the chapter functions later on. But consider the functions that functions will perform some specific task. Every function have this parenthesis. This is the indication of the function. Main is having the parenthesis means this is also this is a function. Main is one of the function of C. It is name. It is its name is main because it is an important function. It is an important function and and it must be specified in the C program. Every C program will have main function. It is an entry point of our program. It is an entry point. It is like gate of the program from where the execution of the program starts. Function always return a value. Every function will return some value. So if you are writing the void means you don't want that function should return a value. And if you are writing int, it means that function will return any integer value. Every function will return a value. Writing void in the front of the function means you we do not want any our function to return the value. Main is a function, so it will also return a value. Void mean void is written before main because the fun uh, because the main function will not return a value. Sometimes we write int main. This means main is returning a integer number to the operating system. This is like a feedback to us that our program have done ex is its execution. Returning the value gives feedback to the operating system that function has completed its execution. The next line is uh, and these are known as block. Every function will have its block. This means this function will perform this much task. All the tasks present inside this block will be done by the function. So the first line in our block is printf statement. What this printf statement does, we will see. Printf. It is an inbuilt function present inside Studio. Dot x. It is an inbuilt function where it is, it is present inside standard input output header file. It is used to display message to user. What it will it will do? It will give us some message. Message written is in double quotes. Message. Uh, what message will be written inside this double quotes? And where it will be printed? It will be printed on the screen. The screen here known as is known as console. We will getting uh, we will get output on a black screen, which is known as console. We will see this output. Example in our case, we will uh, we are using printf. How are you? So we will be getting message. How are you on the console? But when we try to run the program, we didn't get any any output. In this case, when we executed the program, we didn't get any output. A window was coming and it was blinking. So I I, I write some more lines in the program. Now again compile the program. So again no error is there, and again run the program. See now you are getting an output. Hello, how are you? The message written here is printed on the screen. This screen is known as console. This black screen is known as console window. We will we will get output in the console window. The message written inside printf. Will be printed on the console window. Now, what are the meaning of these two lines which we have added? Conio and get ch. Do you see? First, we will see what is get ch. The this function holds the output screen on the output window. Earlier, as I show you, the output window was coming, but it was again come, but it was not freezing. We were getting the output for the fraction of seconds, and again the output was disappearing because it was not freezing. So this get ch will freeze the output screen. It will freeze the output screen. It will hold the output screen till user will press any key. Get ch means it is a standard function which is used for getting the character. We will discuss this function in detail. For the time being, you can think that this function is used to freeze the output screen. Get ch function is a member of Conio dot h. Where this function is present inside the Conio dot h header file. That's why we we also added added this header file in the starting of our program. Hence, we include library at the top of our program. Conio means console input output. Conio function Conio header file contains all the functionalities related to output window known as console. 
because we have to freeze the console so we need the ponyo.h header file some programs also use clear screen in in starting of the program clear screen is used to clear the previous output window uh, clear screen is used to clear the previous output from the output window sometimes like you are running the program this suppose this is an output window first time you run the program your output was here next time you run the program your output will be appended on the screen it will not erase again you will get output so what clear screen will do it will erase the out previous output suppose this was the previous output it will erase it it will and it will give us the new output this clear screen is uh, is used in the that blue screen tc in in this dev c++ we need not to write clear screen this function is inbuilt in dev c++ it is automatically clearing the console window so we need not to write this function but if you people if you guys are using that old blue screen tc you will be using clear screen so that you can clear the output window i hope this program is clear i will explain the program once again this is a complete program hash include studio dot this is a header file hash means you have to execute this line first or expand this line first include means you have to go to include directory and you have to link you have to expand studio dot header studio dot header file similarly you have to include this conio dot header file void main this is the uh, this is the entry point of our program this is main function this is the block of the main function this is the these are known as curly brackets clear screen is used for to clear the output screen previous output print f this is this is used to give the uh, uh, this is used to print message to the user this is used to print message on the screen hello our you will be printed on screen get ch is used to freeze the output window also we are using one more uh, statement return zero why return zero is used because we are if if you are using void over here then you need not to return any value but if you are using int over here means function will return integer value so will you will re you will return any integer value here we are returning zero you can return any value you can write return return one return two so this this is only a feedback to the operating system that our program has done its execution my second program all the program is same only the message is four is a number so what will be the output of the program output is four is a number similarly the next program print f 4 plus 4 of 4 plus 4 is a number so what this program will print it will print 4 plus 4 is a number it will not print 8 is a number it will not print 8 is a number explanation is since we are writing number inside double quotes everything which is which is written inside the double quote it will be printed as such no calculation will be done it is treated as text no, not a number in order to treat numbers we will use some format specifiers we will use format specifiers we will discuss this format specifier in the next video so these are the these are our programs i hope you understand these programs if so please like our facebook page www.facebook.com/b2itech my facebook id is fb/amankumar29 please like subscribe and share the video thanks for watching the video